So this might just look like a normal backpack, but it's literally keeping me alive. It is my only way to get nutrition and hydration right now. I haven't been able to eat since I was 13. It's definitely kind of weird to think that pretty much my entire life revolves around like tubes and pumps and everything, but it's pretty much given me my life back and so I'm really grateful for it. So I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a genetic connective tissue disease, and that causes issues with my joints and skin mainly, but it can cause issues with any bodily system. And for me, it causes issues with my GI system and causes it to not work properly. And I haven't been able to eat since I was 13. Up until I was about 12, I was pretty much a normal kid. I played volleyball and basketball, and I really had a normal life. Around 12, I started having some stomach issues that were just kind of mild indigestion, pain. And after a while of not being able to keep anything down, my doctors were a little bit concerned. And so they sent me to a pediatric GI doctor who at the time thought I had Crohn's disease or something like that. And so after about six months of not being able to eat, I had lost a lot of weight and was really malnourished and just felt awful. And that's when they decided to give me a feeding tube. After about two years, I started being unable to tolerate the feeding tube anymore. And and at that point, they did some x-rays and they saw that my intestines were pretty much paralyzed and causing a bowel obstruction. That's when I was diagnosed with a disorder called chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction, which is essentially where your stomach and intestines are paralyzed. I guess it's definitely kind of weird to think that pretty much my entire life revolves around like tubes and pumps and everything, but it's pretty much given me my life back and so I'm really grateful for it. So in here I have just this like big bag. It has my TPN, which is like IV nutrition. It's just a big bag of like fat, fluids, vitamins, everything. Um, and then there's this bag of saline, pretty much just salt water for hydration and fluids. So I do this every morning and it usually takes around probably five to 10 minutes. So this may just look like a normal backpack, but it's pretty much my 24 seven life support. TPN stands for Total Parenteral Nutrition. Parenteral pretty much means through your veins, and so that means that I get all of my nutrition through my veins or straight into like my blood system. Hey, how are you? Good, how about you? Good. You had anything new, any changes? Not really. No? It's pretty much normal. Any new uh, medicines? No. Nope. No? Nope. How is everything going? I'm here to draw her um, weekly labs for her TPN to make sure that she is on the correct dose um, so that the, if they need to, they can adjust her TPN based on her lab values. This has to be done every week to make sure that she is on the correct dosing for her TPN to make sure she's getting the correct nutrients. I'll get this to the lab for you. All right, thank you. So currently I'm on TPN for about 12 hours a day and I run that overnight because it makes my backpack very heavy if I were to carry it during the day. It's actually around 20 pounds when everything's in my backpack. And so I run most of that overnight and I also run saline for hydration. I run that about 10 hours overnight and then another one in the morning before I go to school. And then I also run my feeding tube for 24 hours a day so that I always have something going through my intestines to keep it open and functioning and just giving me some sugar so that I don't have low blood sugar. I can drink some like by mouth and I can like occasionally eat a little bit if I feel okay, but I get most everything through my tube. This is the um, like feeding bag that I put the formula into and then it hooks up to the pump, which then hooks up to me. So TPN is considered life support because it is my only way to get nutrition and hydration right now. Even though I do have some things through my feeding tube, I'm pretty much 100% dependent on everything that goes into my veins. As Kelly was growing up, there was no indication that she had any health issues. She had been perfectly healthy until she was around 11 or so when some symptoms started showing. So when things started happening with her joints pain and, and then her stomach issues started next and everything, it was very scary because we had no idea what was going on. Going through all of this, it did make her grow up faster. Um, she kind of had to take on responsibility and learn about her condition and navigate through that. 
So there is no treatment or cure for this condition, and so our treatment is mainly focused on managing our symptoms and complications with it and just trying to keep our quality of life as good as possible. So being on a feeding tube or TPN or really having any kind of complex medical condition from a young age really makes you grow up pretty quickly. And in some ways I do feel like I missed out on having a normal childhood or being a normal teenager, but in a lot of ways it's definitely made me stronger as a person. So I do a lot of different advocacy work now. I work as a young adult representative of RDLA, which is a rare disease legislative advocate for the Every Life Foundation for Rare Diseases. And so we do some public speaking and different legislative advocacy for rare diseases. I'm also a member of the Arkansas Rare Action Network through the National Organization for Rare Disorders. Advocacy has become really important to me because it's kind of how I've been able to feel empowered and more confident in my disability. I'm so proud of her. She's so smart and driven. I'm so proud of her the way she helps other people advocate for themselves too and wants to spread knowledge. So my advice to anybody with a rare disease or is facing a chronic illness would be to learn as much as possible about your disease because you're your own best advocate and in my opinion knowledge is power.